Hey everybody, Sightless Senshi here. So I wanted to do a really quick, before we get into the main topic of the video, uh, just a quick update on the PS4 giveaway that I announced last week. Um, so because the Twitch stream didn't end up working out last week and we ended up streaming to YouTube, um, we didn't uh, get all of the viewership that I wanted just to give you all the opportunity to get in on the giveaway. So what I want to let you all know is tonight, which is uh, Sunday, July 21st, um, we're going to be streaming on Twitch at 9 o'clock Central. If by 9 o'clock Central we aren't on Twitch, then we might be streaming on YouTube if it doesn't work out again. Um, but either way, leave your names in the comments of this video or check us out on the Twitch stream and comment in the chat if you want to get in on the giveaway. And we're extending the deadline for that until uh, next week. I'll be drawing a winner for that next Sunday if you want to get in on the PS4 giveaway. Anyway, on to the main topic of the video. So, as you all know, I play fighting games a lot, and I do that solo. Um, that is to say, I don't need any kind of uh, assistance, generally, when it comes to actually playing um, against opponents. Uh, my fiancé, of course, helps me learn the game and learn the sounds and such, but I do all the navigation and combat on my own. Um, mostly that's because uh, there isn't as much, in terms of navigation, there isn't a huge environment to get lost in or anything like that. So it's a lot easier to handle navigating in the 2D or even 3D environments of a fighting game um, and handle combat simultaneously. But on other games that involve menus and, uh, you know, clicking the right options for equipment or uh, navigating complex environments, jumping around on puzzles and things like that, that's not so much an option for me to do solo. While I still can handle the combat, um, you know, it's not as much of an option for me to do that on my own with uh, regard to the navigation. So we found a really easy, kind of cool way of working around that issue. It's a kind of co-op that I don't think a lot of people are familiar with, and it's pretty cool. Um, the Xbox offers a feature like this, but the PlayStation 4 does not offer a native support for what we're uh, doing here, what I'm going to show you. And so we had to buy a third-party gadget for it, and it wasn't even intended for this purpose, but I'm going to show you that gadget all the same. Um, because it works for this purpose. So what we've got is what's called a crosshair. Um, let me see if I can get it uh, visible to y'all. That good? That's the back. Oh, well, goody. Uh, hang on. There. Happy? Yes. Okay. So this is a crosshair converter. Now, as you can see, it's got a bunch of wires plugged into it. Um, it looks like a mess right now because I had to pull it out from where I normally hide it um, to keep it out of the way. But basically, what this thing is is a converter for a PlayStation controller. Um, so it plugs directly into the PlayStation through this cable here. And then what we have on this side is the host controller, which is basically a PlayStation 4 controller. And what people would normally do with this is they use it to adapt other controllers in lieu of using a PlayStation controller. You can see how it has two USB ports on this side. Mm -hmm. That would be for a keyboard and mouse normally for people who want a PC game on their PS4 or whatever. Um, what we did, though, is we plugged this wire into another PS4 controller. So now it can actually take inputs from both at the same time. So you're wondering, okay, how is this different from multiplayer? Like, why couldn't we just do co-op multiplayer? Well, the difference is this doesn't apply two controllers to two characters. It receives the inputs, plugs into the PS4 as one controller, which means two controllers at the same time are controlling one character. Now, like I said, we don't do this for fighting games because A, it just wouldn't seem fair, and B, it would be impossibly hard to <laughs> coordinate that kind of stuff together, I think. Um, what we do is we apply this to more adventure or role-playing games where there's a lot more navigation involved and a lot more movement involved, so um, and menu navigation. So this allows Kelsey to handle navigation, menus, etc., and for me to handle combat in a uh, non-fighting game type situation. So to give you an idea of what that's like, let's go ahead and get this thing set up, and we're going to show you how it works by playing some Warframe. All right, so we got Warframe geared up here. We're just loading in. Um, we're going to do a mission. Oh, hey, look, rewards. Yeah, so I'm moving the cursor around here. Yeah, I'm not doing anything right now because I don't care. No, I'm kidding because I couldn't navigate this. I'd be, it would be like the hardest, hardest level ever, just me trying to click start the fucking game. <laughs> Shut up, Space Mom. <laughs> All right, let's do like a really easy, quick Earth mission, like one of the low-level ones, just so we can show them what we're doing. Sure. Without worrying about me looking like a jackass. 
I'm my own channel. Her. I'm the one doing navigation here. Yeah, so right, right now, now she's moving around the star chart. I'm, as you can see, just twiddling my fingers. All right. Like an exterminate, maybe, on Earth? Uh, not excavation. No. Eurasia, mobile defense, no. Interception. Nah, fuck that. Capture. Defense. Uh, Cambria, spy. Ooh, spy is cool. Are you looking at Earth or what? Planet? Yeah, I'm looking at Earth. Okay. Specific, rescue, three to six. Any low level shit up here? Mariana. Or whatever? One to six, Mariana. Uh, that's exterminate six to eight. Let's do it. Cool. That's like one to six, but. Do we want to do the lift fisher exterminate grenier or the regular mission exterminate grenier? Um, let's do the regular one for right now. Okay. All right. So she's picked that, and now we're jumping into the mission. So soon I will also have control. Oh. Like now. But I can fly the ship. Yeah. Look at me, space mom, I'm flying. The landing pod or The whatever. landing craft. Landing craft, that's the word. Go, Lisette, go. And we Stuck the landing. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's do this. Alright. Tell me when to kill. There's a large platoon of Grenier Marines, of Grenier Marines, Marines who are ready to fucking die. So she's moving around now to get loot and such. She loves looting. I do love looting. She loves stealing. She loves taking things. Bonus points Kill. to anyone who gets that reference. Oh, thank you. I'm on it. You I good. got him. You good. Okay, cool. Thanks. Yeah, sometimes she has to let me know so I don't overkill. <laughs> I love killing. Overkilling. You mean, by sometimes you mean all the time. All the time. Smack. And stealth kill. Owned! So yeah, we just kind of communicate like that. Mm -hmm. And she tells me when to kill and when we're done killing. Stealth kill. Oh, oh shit, <laughs> again with the death. Oh, wait, let me know when you find somebody else I want to do the thing. I got a, I got a thing I want to do. Alright, here's someone else. Boop! You're good. Okay, cool, thanks. <laughs> ah, kill! Kill! You, you like one shot him. My bad. And then also I can do guns. Yeah, she handles guns because I'm not a ranged guy. I can't aim. Oh, kill. Pardon me, sir. Nice. One more quick thing I want to show him before we cut. Yeah. Let me know when we find a guy. I will. Oh, I missed one. Missed what, a guy or a loot box? A loot. You love looting. Okay, guy. Go. And oh! Oh yeah. You're good. Cool. I got a quick follow-up question. What? Why are we Gera right now? I don't know. I wanted to be Garuda right now. Kill. Oh, shit. Got him. You got him. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know how we ended up as fucking Gera. I wanted to be Garuda for this. Oh, shit, sorry. I hit the button by mistake. Got excited. Kill. Ah! Die! Die! Cool. Are they dead? They're dead. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, there's more. Uh, ranged kind of thing. Oh, oh kill. Yeah. You good? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm back here. Got him? Yeah. Yeah, the little scream. Ah. ah! I'm a grenier. Ooh, let me do this one. Yeah. Hands off. Got it. Because you can hear those. I can hear the little clicks of the hacking puzzle. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh shit. shit. What was that? Dude. I uh, think that was a bomb. Yeah, I think you just tricked one of the grenier, like, explosive door things. I guess so. Hate those. How the fuck did we end up as Gera? I don't know. Dude, I want my Gore Queen back. Okay, we want to switch to Gore Queen? No, it's fine, it's fine. I think we just wanted to show them how we do this thing. True. Anyway, shall we go ahead and cut then? Now that they've seen what we do and how we do it. Alright. 
All right, cool. Well, thanks for watching. This is how we play Warframe. And if you're interested in checking out more, we're probably going to be or we are going to be streaming tonight at nine. Twitch most likely, YouTube if we aren't on Twitch by nine central. So again, thank you all for watching and peace out. Boop. Isn't that that Tobuscus thing in what he used to do? Let me not do that because that didn't work out so well for him. So uh, bye.